So I have nine paintings and room to display only four of them on the wall at a time. How many different ways could I do this? Um, so I'm going to presume that ordering matters here. Uh, in other words, I care what order the pictures are in. Uh, and, and, and that I can't use the same picture twice. So we certainly could answer this question by saying, how many choices do I have for the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one? Uh, and we could certainly do that and end up with our answer, 3,024 different orderings. Um, now, to make, to, uh, we're gonna try to come up with another way to do this. Uh, and this thing is what we call a permutation. A permutation is a rearrangement of items. Uh, where order matters and we're selecting from a group. Uh, the usual notation is n, p, r, where n is the, is the number of items, number of choices, and then r is, is how many pick, how many we're gonna pick, the number we pick. So r is the number we p pick from our total number of choices. So this problem here would be 9p4. Uh, we have nine choices and from them we're going to pick four of them and we're going to look at all the possible orderings or permutations of them. Now there's several ways to calculate a permutation. One is the way we just did it, which is to just multiply 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. Um, Another way to do it is to use factorials. You'll notice that this looks a lot like 9 factorial, which is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, but it's not as much, right? We don't have the, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we can get rid of that by dividing by 5 factorial, which will then reduce, uh, all of those away, leaving us with just the, 9, 8, 7, 6. So if we have NPR, it turns out we can compute that using factorials as N factorial over N minus R factorial. So in this case, when we had 9P4, that would be 9 factorial over 9 minus 4 factorial, or in other words, 9 factorial over 5 factorial, uh, as we just saw here. S the other way you can do this is if your calculator happens to have a permutations feature on it, you can s ask it, what is 9P4? Uh, and it should spit out this 3024 answer for you. Now this is kind of handy when we're looking at larger numbers. So let's look at one more example. Uh, so how many ways can a four-person executive committee, president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, be selected from a 16-member board of directors? Um, so in this case, there are 16 choices, uh, 16 members on the board of director, and from them, we're looking at permutations of size 4. So we're looking at orderings. Again, order matters here because, uh, it matters who's chosen as president and vice president versus the other way around. So 16 people, we're picking four of them, order matters, 16p4. Now again, we could either compute this as 16 times 15 times 14 times 13, or 16 factorial over 16 minus 4 is 12 factorial, or we could pull out our calculators. Either way, we're gonna end up with 43,680 different, uh, executive committees.